Hey, it's Jason Creel, and I'm living the lawn care life. I want to ask you a true or false question. Is word of mouth advertising the best form of advertising for your lawn care business? Stay tuned. Hey, today's video is sponsored by Jobber. Jobber is a lawn care software that if you need a software to do your invoicing, your scheduling, to receive payments with a built-in credit card processor, check out Jobber. There'll be a link in the description. And I've also wanted to tell you that I am partnering with Jobber Academy. Jobber Academy is an extension of Jobber, the brand, where you can find resources like articles and videos. And I'm going to be producing some exclusive videos for Jobber Academy coming up. So check out those links in the description. Thanks. All right, word of mouth. You hear so many people say, I hear, I hear them say this. They say, I don't do any advertising. All, all, my, all my business comes from word of mouth. And uh, I think, well, that's great. You know, that's absolutely great. I, I hope to get a lot of word of mouth advertising too. But if I was to ask you, is word of mouth advertising the best form of advertising? Uh, initially, I would say the answer to that is false. Now, I think the answer could become true. But to me... It becomes true once you are a big established brand. You know, it's like they're a big established brand. Everybody knows about them. And when somebody moves into town and they ask their neighbor, hey, which lawn care company you use? They say, boom, I use big established brand. Everybody uses them. Okay, word of mouth. Now, if you're a new kid on the block lawn care business, started last week, and somebody moves into town and says, what lawn care company do you use? Do you think they're going to say, I use New Kid on the Block? You know, and it has nothing to do with the boy band. Uh, lawn care company? Of course not. They've not heard of you. And so I think it's a misconception just to walk around saying, you know, word of mouth advertising. That, that's where it's at. You just need to do word of mouth. Uh, I think you need to do every form of advertising possible that remotely works when you're starting out to get your initial customers flowing. And it's not all going to work great, to be honest with you. Um, but until you get that initial customer base established, and once you get that, you start getting the word of mouth coming in, then it, it all starts to snowball and really grow. But starting off to rely on word of mouth to me is a big mistake. Uh, and I think you need to, to do things like direct mail, uh, if, you know, maybe not a full, huge campaign, but uh, even smaller, more targeted campaigns, door hangers, postcards, um, you can, uh, online marketing, whether that be through websites like thumbtack.com, you can do Facebook, you can use Google AdWords, you can build a website. There, there's a lot of things you can do. People use Craigslist successfully um, to get business uh, and, and like I said, the word of mouth is great. It's free. It's just not. It's just not going to work that great when you're starting out. So uh, I'm not here downplaying word of mouth. I just find it funny. And even people who who think that yeah, word of mouth is all I do. Um, I'm in my mind. I'm thinking, well, that's great. But why would you not do some advertising too? Let's say I picked up 50 customers this year from word of mouth. Well, what if I was able to pick up another 75 through some marketing? And yeah, that might cost me some money. But is it still not the re the return on investment still not worth it, you know. So, anyway, don't uh, yeah, you, you just have to filter some of this out. You filter what I say out too, um, as far as what works and what doesn't work in the lawn care business. Um, but I do think marketing is very important. I want to say, you know, even me is, is uh, my business is becoming more and more established. Um, word of that, word of mouth is not my best way to get customers. I, I get more customers online now than any other method, uh, and sometimes I do get a lot of referrals, but those are not necessarily just people walking around town talking about my company. Um, it is I, I have to talk to those to my customers and encourage them to tell others about me. Uh, I have other people in, in similar related industries who send me referrals. So there are referrals, but even those sometimes take work. Um, and you see, I mean, big established companies are still doing a lot of marketing. They're not just relying on word of mouth. Um, so I think it'd be a, a big, a big mistake if you're a smaller company to only rely on that unless, you know, and I would go so far to say this, and when you're starting out and you don't have that much money to spend, 
I would cut back on the equipment, maybe even start with lesser equipment. I'm not saying bad equipment. I'm not saying, you know, get out there with an electric push mower. But maybe cut down on your equipment expenses and focus a little bit more on your marketing. Um, because to me, if you can get your marketing right, you start getting the customers rolling in. You know, I tell people all the time, you can always go back and upgrade equipment. Um, but if you have a, a, a big fancy mower sitting there and nobody's yard that's wanting your business, you know, it, it just seems like a waste. So um, if you can do both, have great equipment and marketing, do both. Um, but I'll be honest, if I had to pick one, I'd focus on the marketing. So subscribe to the channel and check out these related videos. Thanks a lot.